Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Today is the Lord's Day, friends. We also celebrate Thanksgiving weekend. But really, every Sunday is Thanksgiving weekend for us believers, isn't it? On this, the Lord's Day, Mass itself, Eucharist, is thanksgiving to God for all that he does for us as we praise and worship him and we thank him for all of our blessings. Though a secular holiday, Thanksgiving for us Canadians, I know there are Americans and people throughout the world listening to this podcast, but as Canadians, we celebrate Thanksgiving this weekend. Thanksgiving Day is actually tomorrow, Monday, but as we celebrate it this weekend, it's an opportunity for us to make sure that we are truly grateful for all the blessings we receive. Friends, I don't know about you, but for me, it's easy to take things for granted. Every breath I take, I don't often think about the gift of oxygen and the fact that my organs work as a gift from God to help me breathe and stay alive. I take for granted the fact that I have the opportunity to worship God in a very free way in this great country not having to be worried about being shot at or blown up as a result of practicing faith, specifically belief in the Lord Jesus. I'm so thankful for the many priests and women religious, my parents and godparents and all those who've impacted my life in regards to faith and this relationship that I have with Jesus, which is the most important relationship I have. I'm so grateful for the gift of my family who love me so dearly and who I have the great privilege to love too. I'm so grateful for my parish family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for all the food I can receive. The fact I have a roof over my head. The fact I can go on vacation. The fact I can go out for dinner and enjoy foods from all over the world. These are just some of the things I'm grateful for. And I'm sure that you're grateful for these and so many other things. Thanksgiving is an opportunity for us to really reflect upon how blessed we are by our God. Sometimes it can get easy to be wrapped up in the thought process of what I don't have. I want a better job, a bigger house, better health. Another family member or friend who I might get along with more. I mean, the list can go on and on if we see the world as the glass is half full. But actually, our glass is running over an abundance of God's grace. And the more we count the blessings, the more we realize how blessed we are. It's overflowing. It's not half full. It's certainly not half empty. We have so much to thank God for. Are we also thankful to God for the crosses and challenges of life? Perhaps something in your rearview mirror that you've struggled with or I've struggled with. How has this cross helped to shape who we are? Now, having overcome that obstacle, are we thankful to God for that opportunity of growth? Think also, friends, of the many times in which challenges and struggles have helped us to grow closer to God and one another. Are we thankful for those opportunities where we are challenged or pushed outside of our comfort zone? Friends, think of the things that make you happy. Being at a live sporting event, attending a theater, perhaps a walk along the seashore, perhaps a trip somewhere. All of these are gifts from God experiences, daily joys. May we be thankful for these moments too. Sometimes we're thankful for the big things in our life. But how about that cup of coffee? How about that warm bed? How about the ability to be on Wi-Fi and surf the internet? 
How about the sound of the saxophone or the bird in the tree outside our window? The development of the world and the ability to travel globally. The opportunity to receive news in moments from across the globe. So much to be thankful for. And so as we come to the Lord's day, may we first thank God. And as we look to our left and our right, as we find people and things and experiences, opportunities, may we be reminded of a God who thinks so much of you that he wishes to flood your life with these graces. Thanksgiving is a wonderful opportunity to rejoice, to celebrate, to remember, and to be grateful. Being grateful to God is itself a gift from God. God moves first. We respond to his love. We respond to his gift. And so this day reminds us that not just today or for our foreign friends, whenever you and your country celebrate Thanksgiving, but every day we are invited, first and foremost, to thank Jesus for what? His presence in the Eucharist. Jesus feeds us with his body and blood. God feeds us with his holy word. Without this, we would be spiritually dead. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will live forever and I will raise you up on the last day. These powerful words of the Lord help us to realize that even when the going gets tough, so long as we stay close to the altar, so long as we continue to believe like Thomas, my Lord and my God, in the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. And may that be our first prayer of thanksgiving, where Jesus has given us himself, and he blesses us every moment of our lives. So before we thank God for family and friends, for house, for car, for vacation, and for our life experiences. Let's spend some time today, friends, thanking Jesus for the gift of himself, for the fact that the Messiah has come, born in Bethlehem, nailed to the cross, risen for our sake. This is the God whom we receive at Mass. This is the gift of the Eucharist. This is the gift of true thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for all that you give to us, especially the gift of the Eucharist. May this Thanksgiving weekend be for each of us an opportunity to grow in your love and to realize the daily blessings you give us. Lord, thank you for being so generous to us, and may we use these days and every day as an opportunity to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families for those who celebrate this weekend. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks and God bless.